welcome back, as ever, to the World of Madness server, where we are once again the Dungeon Maker. And there has definitely been some development since the last time we were here. So, obviously the first and biggest development is the Soul Mill, that uh, Lucien's cargo ship has buried all the vital machinery and such over to rebuild, reconstruct, make look good frequently. Uh, so, let's have a gander, and that is quite a view. That is quite a view. Um, it is quite noisy. I do need to do something about the bone meal dispenser in here, because it is a little bit, a little bit noisy. Probably, probably gonna drive somebody up the wall. Most likely me. Uh, it's basically just this block. I just need to figure out some way to, like, retract that when nobody's here or something. But... Everything is neatly enclosed. Everything looks pretty nice. Let's get ourselves a quick little aerial view. Whoop. Yeah, Lucian's cargo ship still here. Again, I'm not entirely sure how that thing's leaving. But there is the sawmill. Uh, there is some limitations, of course, to what Lucian was really able to do with it, because it is a relatively complicated redstone machine that we had just basically hooked a, a, an actual encasement around just to make it look a little better. But obviously there's this big hole in the roof where the slime machine is in, and then there's the other hole over here where there's the TNT dropper and such. So it's, it's not perfect, but it was never going to be perfect. It's very hard to make a redstone machine look good uh, a lot of the time. But this, I think, looks pretty nice. I think Lucian's done a very good job, and if you are interested in seeing Lucian's time-lapse of the build, uh, head over to YouTube, uh, YouTube, head over to youtube.com slash Lucian underscore V underscore ghost. Why there are five ghosts in Lucian, I don't know, but, or maybe Lucian's just the fifth ghost. Hard to say. They did have a very interesting entry to the server, so maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe Lucini is, in fact, five ghosts in a trench coat. Who knows? But let's give this a whirl, just because I'm not 100% certain that this won't somehow eat itself. Um, so it's worth a shot. Uh, okay, that's good. Uh, do we have sufficient bone meal? Yes, we do. Okay, let's chuck an oak sapling in here. Looks good, I think. Uh, I may have to run it a bit more just to see if anything explodes down here, because that is that is blast radius right there. That's the whole point of the thing. But I think it looks good. I think it looks good. So hats off to Lucian for that. Uh, we will have to integrate it a bit more with this road just so we can actually access it a bit more. Uh, we do ideally need a basement access as well, just because that's currently where the storage is. The storage is not very complicated. Uh, if we just come down here, it's it, it doesn't sort at all, it's just all of this. So ideally we would have a more thorough storage system for this to filter out sticks and such, which come from when the leaves are destroyed, as well as the different kinds of log and whatnot. But, very happy with it, looks very good. And it's taken over a year to actually get put together because it required me moving the TNT machine, and lord knows that is a dangerous by definition of prospect. But... On to the business of the day. I have looked it uh hi Father Greg um, I have looked it up and Neverite is not found at the top of the Never. Or at the very least, it's found extremely rarely. It is chiefly found at Y level 19 in the Never, which we can easily get to just by digging straight down, except that it's the Never and full of lava. So uh I have an idea, which is that I have a massive supply of gunpowder, courtesy of the Cat's Paw Lighthouse, so we're gonna make a whole bunch of TNT, and also some fire resistance potions, because that's probably gonna be a bad idea at some stage. So I need... I have a... we have a brewing stand over by the enchanting setup. Do I have 
any blaze rods. Because I haven't been in the nether very much this season, and I'm not 100% certain. Uh... I may not have any blaze rods. Oh boy. Uh, I may just have to wing it a little bit. Uh, I will... I will grab some of those bottles, though. Just, just in case. It's weird, I've been to- I've been to the end. That's why I have wings on my back right now. But I have never actually really spent much time in the nether. It's kind of- kind of an odd little thing. But, uh, let me see. Where- where might I find blaze rods? Um... Could there possibly be some for sale elsewhere? Hmm. Apparently I've got like three different brewing stands, but no blaze rods. Okay, I guess I have to go find a fortress. This is gonna get really, really secure, this isn't it? Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go and find ourselves a fortress. Grand. Okay. I was informed that this is in fact the hub. Mildly undefended, I fear, because I feel like I'm about to get shot by the gas that's immediately outside the window. There we go. Okay. Where... Where the heck do I find a never fortress? Uh... Oh, and there's another. Oh, hell. Be gone! I... Seriously? I swear I'm hitting these. Sorry, George. Oh, fine. What is the hitbox on these fireballs? Ow! Yep. Yeah, apparently the hitbox just decides whether or not it wants to exist. Look, it wasn't my fault. All of the windows are wide open. expect it to happen there. Uh, right. Never fortress. Never fortress. Assuming that no one has destroyed or otherwise taken the... Ooh, ooh striders. Uh, assuming nobody has actually t destroyed or taken the blaze spawners, we should hopefully be able to find something. My understanding is never fortresses are not hard to find, especially when you have a gigantic lava lake like this. Here, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Here, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Aha! There she blows! Please may... Please may she also happen to have blaze. Uh, let's see. Just come down here. Should be a bit easier to get... Oh, mind you. Wait, is that also a... It's not a bastion, but it is basalt, so there's that. Stone. Okay. Knock, knock. Fortress inspector. Need to check your heating. Okay, well, there's never what. 21 episodes into the season, and I'm just now getting never what, but eh, you gotta, you gotta get it somewhere. Never know. Why do I have the strangest sense of deja vu here? Ow. Note to self, there is apparently a shopping market for blaze rods and never war. And just generally supplies. Okay, now the blaze rooms usually walled off and on the upper levels. I believe my armor will be sufficient to make me not die, but I need to find the bingo. Found him. Okay, and there's another location that I need to remember, because apparently it's the only place I'm finding. I don't know 
if the plugin that lets us steal spawners with Silk Touch is working. Yeah, apparently it's not the first time I've had Blaze Rods. It's the only time I remember having Blaze Rods, that's for sure. But my memory is weird these days, so who knows. Okay, uh, there's no piglins here. I can be full armor. There we go. Knock, knock. Hello. And after far longer than I would like to actually admit uh, to get back from the never, we have our 16 blaze rods and 40 never wards. Now we need to... For, used to be this wasn't the case, but they did, yeah, you yeah, know, infinite wisdom, I guess. Uh, now I need to power this with blaze rods, which means blaze rods are way more value to brewing stands than they ever were before, which is kind of a pain in the neck, honestly. But, you know, we're gonna go with it. Dear God, brewing stands are a lot slower than I remembered. Ugh. Bingo! Okay. Back into the never. Again. Today. Oh boy. With three stacks of TNT and far more time lost to the never than I will ever, ever going to admit on camera, I have managed to obtain 26 ancient debris, which is close enough to half a stack with an offset of about eight, and so it will naturally be considered a good thing. I also managed to find a ton of gold nuggets, so we can just happily turn those into the gold ingots that we then need to combine with the ancient debris in order to make the other thing that I'm not familiar with, but I'm going to presume is hopefully somewhere stored in here. Somewhere, hopefully. I'm guessing it. Okay, so one slight thing I do have to say is I do actually already have one piece of Neverite, but I'm not the one responsible for making it, so I actually don't know what the recipe is off the top of my head. So, I, I actually don't even know where I got this one particular thing. It's, I've just had it for an age. Uh, I think it was in exchange for a mending book, but I don't remember much more. Um, do I need to smelt this? Is that the next step? Hmm. Let me have a quick look. Aha! Okay, so I do, in fact, need to smelt these. So let me grab three furnaces. Bleh. Doot, doot, doot. And then I can divide this into three, and that will get me all of the separation I need Plump. to make this go efficiently, as one would ideally prefer. And let's see, some coal to spare, that's Fine. Okay, so this will produce Neverite Scrap, yep, which I then need to combine four of together with Gold Ingots to make Neverite Ingots, and with those, I need to use a smithing table to combine my existing armor pieces and tools and such to make Neverite, which in addition 
to themselves being flame re like resistant to fire, uh, on this server also gives us uh, fire resistance. So makes mining more of this even faster. Should be good. Okay, so never write ingots. There we go. Two more of them. Uh, I have so much of this stuff in my inventory. It is absurd. Okay. I might actually gain more of this than I anticipated. Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure that I only put the one in. But, eh, I'm, I'm not going to complain too heavily here. Oh no, it is one-to-one. -one. That's weird. It feels, it feels like more. Hmm. More gold, please. More neverite, please. Right. Let's start with my hat, because why not? There we go. And my shoes. You may notice there is a naming convention on these pieces. Armor seems the best thing to do, because that will then give us the benefit of fire resistance. Ah, uh, oh, there you are. Ha! Hooray! Okay, and yep, there we go, fire resistance. So, now I have to figure out what tools I want to put it on. I feel like touch makes the most sense, it's my main pickaxe. So we'll put that there. Uh, crack doesn't need it because it's used only for actually breaking down things. Uh, maybe dig? Probably with slice. Slice is probably deserving of some amount of attention in this. Uh, do I have... No, not quite enough scrap for that. But I do have more scrap to actually smelt, so hey, there's that. Uh, where's my... Doop doop. There. Perfectly efficient, as all things must be. Right, so with that hurdle... I wouldn't even call that a hurdle, actually. That wasn't, strictly speaking, necessary to this entire video at all. Um, and this, I, I gotta say, this is not quite as flattering on me as the blue was, but oh well. Okay, now on to the actual thing I wanted to do this entire episode, which is build more houses. There are houses that go along here, there is a few more around there, there, there's more along there. I basically want it to be that when I'm walking around here, I have trouble seeing the ocean because it is blocked by buildings. That is the ideal kind of situation for me today. Uh, we more or less have that effect over here, where we've just got so many houses, where we're just walking down a nice little way, and then we kind of hit the sea here because it's meant to be a house over here as well. Uh, there's a lot of buildings meant to be on this island, and today we're going to start adding some. So with that in mind, Time for a time lapse. See you there. I have done nothing but build house for three days. And there we have it for more or less of the time being. This is not all of the houses that I needed to make, but it's all the ones I'm getting done for now. Uh, this, has t this, this has taken way longer 
than I anticipated it would take. I figured it's just the same formulaic kind of building structure over and over again. And again, 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 and again. But, uh, turns out, whilst I do have a fairly robust means of getting the materials, uh, I have pretty much drained my diorite supplies to their absolute limit and then some. And I have depleted the store of spruce logs at the lumber mill twice now. So, this is what we've got for the moment. Now, I went a bit fancier with these houses just along the ways. Uh, just because I figured they're, they're central to the village, they're right next to the marketplace, so they're probably slightly more moneyed kind of individuals. Like, that was a good place to be. Uh, then we have some smaller homes as well, from people who were here before it got gentrified, presumably. Uh, we have a really nice fancy one here. Then, moving on to over here, we have the Moonrise Hostel, which has a couple of small ground floor places, as well as a couple of larger upper floor ones that can see out into the sea. At least for the time being. When the, when it was built, it had a vision for sea at the very least. It's probably gonna be stuff over here as well. And then I got started on this little house right here, directly adjacent to the market, when I ran out of materials again. So, yeah. It's gonna be a little bit before I have absolutely all of the, uh, ooh, hello foxies and a wandering trader. Sir, how did you get in there? You're not authorized to be in there. I didn't know. I, ooh, apparently there is a cave down here that I can but about it existing. Okay, and it's raining. Oh, lovely. Ah, <sighs> right. So, yeah, there's gonna be more buildings around here. This farm needs to be upgraded to an actual proper industrial kind of building. Uh, over here is more or less the more industrial side of town and such, but over there is the market. And there's not many villagers moving into these houses just right now, simply because they're all, all of their jobs are way over here, so they just tend to think that this is where they go. Uh, but that said, we can start to flatten this area out, make sure there's actually not a small pond here, um, and actually have some work sites for them to work at over here. Ooh, a nice little market stall, that kind of thing. We can have Fletchers, we can have Butchers, definitely need Butchers. I have been buying my cooked pork chop, and it is very affordable, actually. It's like one, one to five or so, um, but it is a pain to continually have to try and find him. I think he works over there at the moment where I'm tanning rotten flesh into leather for books and such. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, it's like the middle of the day. I can't sleep to get rid of this. That's lovely. Um, so, we have consulted the oracles, otherwise known as my patrons, over at patreon.com slash line, and they have determined a number of names. <laughs> uh, one of the better ones was Amanita, which is a type of mushroom, I am informed. Um, another one was uh, Old Millennia, in reference to something. I'm not really terribly sure of myself, but apparently it's a reference to something that's really cool and interesting and should definitely be watched maybe uh, on, a, on a live streaming service of some description. Um, but this isn't quite what it was originally. Uh, I have modified it for my purposes, but a suggestion from the patrons, converted to Old English, uh, is that this town shall henceforth be known as Bidden. <laughs> Splash title screen. Yay. It means bucket. It, it literally means bucket in Old English. Um, it's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yes, wel welcome to Bidden, or... Buckets, if you prefer. <laughs> uh, and we've got a bunch of building still to do, so between this episode and next, I am going to be mainly doing a whole ton of grinding. I'm I'm still adjusting, um, not just to my old workflow, uh, that I'm now finally able to get back to, for the most part, but also to just the workload that I'm is literally physically capable of doing at this point, in addition to the reduced energy levels and whatnot that led me to being so, oh, so, so long away.
from here. I really need to build a light here, don't I? It's not much of a lighthouse, so there's no light. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so the the video has taken a while because I bit off way more than I could chew. But hey, I'm about halfway done with all the houses there. Let's get a nice aerial view. Assuming we can without all of the rain. So yeah. I'm about halfway done with the housing situation. Uh, there's a few more. There is this big space in between that row of houses and mine. I do wonder if there's something we can put here. I need to add a road going along here to over there, which I believe is the town hall. Uh, but yeah, we could put something here. That'd be nice. What do we, what do we put on such uneven terrain, though? That's the question. Hmm. But we have accomplished our goal of blocking the ocean from view a lot more, so it no longer looks like there's a complete dearth of civilization. Just oof, a drought, if one will. So yeah, looks we've got a much more extended kind of uh, roadway walk, and I love it. Huh. But hopefully the next episode will not take quite so long. I'm going to try and focus on one building at a time. I think that'll be better for me. Um, especially because you look at all the like decor that's on these buildings, like the the, the windows, the, the like greenery around the edges, and all the ones I've built like on mass more or less recently have just been formulaic and the samey. So I think focusing one at a time will do me better. Ha! Huh. Hopefully the time lapse was to your liking, and next time here in Bidden, uh, I think we'll try and make the marketplace to get people actually living over here a bit more. But until then, hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all as ever next time. You wouldn't give your name and credit card information to an archfey, but you can give your name and credit card information to me at patreon.com slash line. We can get access to monthly rewards like custom audio clips, early video releases, behind the scenes content, and the monthly patron games day, all for as little as a dollar a month. So to support future content, that's patreon.com slash lying.